So something I'd like to be able to do is actually start drawing the grid lines that go with this. So if I've got 20 squares, how many lines do I need to draw uh, the left and right sides of that? You have one more line than the number of squares. So if you think about it, imagine you draw the left line of each of the boxes as you go across. You still need one on the right when you get to the end. So it's actually one more than the number of squares. So I'm going to be drawing vertical lines here to draw in the grid. This seems like a pretty regular pattern. So if I think about the x and y positions of, let's say, just the vertical lines to begin with, I basically want to draw from the top to the bottom, but it's a pretty regular spacing. It's however wide my panel is divided by 20, or whatever the width is. So let me see if I can do a loop that does that. So I'm going to be going until grid's length. Actually, grid's length plus 1, right? And I'm going to be doing something like this uh, draw line. So I'm going to move that in there just to kind of have for reference for now. So one thing I could do is I could actually change the for loop. I could alter this i statement so it actually matches the lines I need to draw. So for example, I could uh, start at 0, go up by the width of my squares, however, much, however many pixels that is, and keep going until I reach the width of my window. That's one way to do it. The other way is that the way I'm going to show you is I'm actually going to do the multiplication as I'm drawing the line. So to begin with, I need to figure out the two x values. That's the first and third thing in the draw line. g dot draw line. So this is an x value and this is an x value. So this is going to be x times however wide my squares are. x, by which I mean i times however wide my squares are. I think that's going to be the width of my window divided by 20. I'm going to be using that a number of times, so let me just create an integer up here, because I'd be lazy. Uh, box width. It turns out that J panels know how wide they are, so I can say this dot get width, and it'll give that back to me. And I can get the grid length from that. Now I can do i times box width for each of the x values. The y value, I want to draw from the top, that would be 0, to the bottom. That would be this dot get height. And I think that's all I'm going to have time for. Pretty basic formula. Draw a line everywhere that is a box width apart. Now, it's not going to be exactly right, and there's a reason why. It turns out that the width of my window is probably not an exact integer. So it's probably truncating. Uh, decimal as I'm going across the screen. So the further across, the more that error accumulates. If I wanted to be really precise, what I would do is I would actually use a double instead and multiply by that so that I get the fraction correct. It turns out that when you're drawing pixels, there either is a pixel or there is not, so you have to use integers. But for figuring out how wide to draw each of these boxes, I can probably use a double. I think I'm going to go over that next time, but that's the beginnings of how to draw on the screen. By the way, notice that as I resize, it actually shrinks and increases because I'm using the actual width of the window. That's pretty cool.